The motion is adopted. A major hurdle cleared for Intel to continue to expand here in Ohio. Just hours ago, the House passed the CHIPS Act for giving those semiconductor companies in the U.S. billions more in incentives. That bill now headed to the president's desk. 10 TV's Kevin Landers explains what this means for Ohio. He went one on one with Lieutenant Governor John Husted. Intel's expansion on this 1,000 acre piece of land is seen as a historic development for the entire state of Ohio and a disruptor of lives for those who live near it. I went one on one with Lieutenant Governor John Husted to talk about this project and what some believe is a lack of transparency about how this project was done. Intel has promised Ohio two fabrication plants on the soil of this western Licking County property, but passage of the $52 billion Chips and Science Act could invite a whole lot more. They've given us every reassurance that if the CHIP Act passes, they will build as fast as they can. What does that mean? Instead of one phase, the Lieutenant Governor said money from the CHIPS Act will pay for four more phases, which includes a packaging plant. There are no promises beyond phase one right now, but we've always been told by Intel all along that if the CHIP Act passes, that would give them the capital to be able to build out further beyond just phase one. We fully expect them to do that, although there's been no announcement on that at this point. Intel says the site can accommodate eight fabrication plants. To get here, Ohio showered the company with $2 billion of tax incentives. Do the incentives stop here or are there more incentives down the road as they continue to expand if that happens? Uh, I expect that, that like everything that we do, uh, if, there is, if there are more jobs and Intel is going to do more, then there will be more incentives to support that growth. Uh, particularly in areas like the infrastructure, because we're going to need to build more roads, we're going to need to build more water capacity, all of those kinds of things that will support that growth. The deal to lure Intel to Ohio was largely done without public comment. Lieutenant Governor Husted says those seeking documents about the deal should have them. Everything that we do will be pu made public. All that government is doing will be made public or is public. And, and what Jobs Ohio will do also will be made public. As for those displaced by the semiconductor plant, Houston says he's heard from those in support and against the project. I know that there are some people that don't like this, and I know that there are a lot of people, though, who think very highly of it. You talk to some of the farmers whose land was, was worth $5,000 an acre, and now it's worth $50,000 an acre, they kind of like it. Kevin Landers, 10TV News.